Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bean Kitchen. Today we have another taste test. It is fall and we have a bunch of holiday beverages, some pumpkin spice things, mostly pumpkin spice things, and then a couple of other autumnal flavors to sample. Nice. This is Eric. All but one of these things I purchased at my local Target. Uh, this is the only exception. I found this at my Sprouts and I believe a lot of these things can also be found at Sprouts as well, if not Whole Foods. So, most of these things are creamers, but we do have two cold brew coffee beverages here, which I think we should start out with just to keep it simple. First thing we've got here is by Califia Farms. This is an almond milk cold brew in the toffee latte flavor. I'm not gonna do too much because I don't want to get too caffeinated. Oh, right. Too lit. It smells really good. It does. It smells like there's a whiskey in it. It does kind of smell like a Irish coffee. Remind me about whiskey after we try this. <laughs> it's quite sweet. Mm. It doesn't taste particularly toffee to me. You know, it kind of just tastes like sugar. Yeah. It doesn't really, it's a little flat and weak. Mm -hmm. Like there's no body to it. Body? Like flavor wise or texturally? Both. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty thin because it's almond milk. And I feel as if the entire range of Califia Farms, like almond milk coffee things are very love it or hate it. I feel like some people just don't like the flavor of the almond milk they use. Love it or hate it. That is the question. <laughs> love it or hate it. It's still an obsession. Do you, do you like it though? Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good mm -hmm. enough for me to like, like, you know, we, sometimes we buy things and I'm just like every night I have to have like, I just like even just drink it out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. This I'd be like, oh, it went bad. Okay. Let's throw it out. I mean, quite honestly, I'm probably going to have you bring this to work and put it's it in fine. your communal fridge because yeah. I don't love it that much. It's not bad, but when I think toffee flavors, my gold standard is English toffee syrup at Starbucks. I used to oh, work yeah. at Starbucks and that's what they use in the salted caramel mocha. It's mocha syrup and English toffee syrup. Yeah. And that's like my favorite fall drink. And this d doesn't, it doesn't compare. Well, the problem is that I feel like there's almond milk and sugar mm -hmm. and then there's like a tiny bit of all the flavors. They just mm -hmm. need to like... Amp it up. Yeah. yeah. It's a little weak. I agree. We're not going to rank these because some of them are creamers, some of them are not. Uh, so, but I will say I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Now, now about whiskey. We went to Target yesterday and I bought a, uh, a candle that's flavored whiskey and oak. I know mm -hmm. I meant scented, but flavored is funnier. Whiskey and oak. It smells great. Can't fall candles. I honestly live for. It's what makes the season so much better. It's a very stereotypical man scent, I'd say, yeah. like for a man cave, man cave. And I put it in the basement. Speaking of falling, it being cozy, I'm wearing a onesie right now because it's chilly. Now I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Well, I run, which is, which is my version of a onesie. And shorts. And shorts. I run extremely cold. He runs extremely hot. Let me know if any of you are in this predicament with your partners and you're eternally living in a cold environment. Though, as a result. it's been 40 degrees every night here and Sarah has not put the heat on yet. I'd be like, do you want to put the heat on tonight? She's trying like, to no. save money. I understand. I don't want to pay. Speaking of saving money, here's an ad. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, let's try the pumpkin spice cold brew by Califia Farms. Oh, let's palate cleanse first. Okay, so first off, what's your stance on pumpkin spice? My stance? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you feel about it? I feel great about it. You love it? I mean, I don't, I don't think there needs to be such a craze about it. Mm. I mean, they're making like pumpkin spice bacon. Really? I don't know, but it's a, it's, <laughs> I don't know. it might as well be true. I saw something this morning or yesterday that was like pumpkin spice thing that doesn't need to be pumpkin spiced. Right. I never liked pumpkin anything growing mm -hmm. up, like Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie, never ate it. But I feel like now it's like so nostalgic that I actually do like it. It's weird. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. good in coffee and it's good in the fall. And then uh, that should be it. This flavor is this a lot is way more better. distinct, yeah. Yeah, ooh, but there's... What? You talk. I'm there's something read. a little spicy. There's too much of one thing that I don't like in here. Cloves? No, there are no cloves. Really? I'm getting I'm a, a lot of ginger of. and nutmeg. But I love ginger. I kind of like it because it's not overwhelmingly sweet and then just like mm -hmm. a hint of pumpkin. You really right. get the pumpkin spice flavoring. This almost reminds me of like last year we did a vegan eggnog test yeah, yeah this kind of reminds me of an eggnog mm -hmm. and i could just be crazy like imagining this because mm -hmm. the flavors but it feels a little bit richer too for some reason oh it's sweeter but this has what this one's missing mm -hmm. 
you know? More robust flavor. Yeah. I like this. I like it more than that one, but there's still one flavor in there that's irking my yeah. tongue, but that's just me. That's just personal preference, probably. Tara knows I'm, I'm prone to uh, not liking things with cloves in them. Yeah. That's why you asked. Mm. Because when I would go to high school parties when I was a kid, I used to smoke cloved, clove cigarettes. Like, without, they're like cigars. They're, they're really disgusting, but I thought I was cool. So you've been a delinquent, and then you met me, and now you're and a she's little like, man, and you go to sleep at 10 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like 11. I actually do think that I would repurchase this. A carton of this is five bucks, and you would pay five bucks for... One pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks, especially yeah. if you're upgrading to an alternative milk. You know it costs 70 cents to upgrade to it, to soy milk at Starbucks? That's bullshit. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna stop cursing and just curse with the words like from the good, the good place. Like the good place? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm for that. Are we gonna do a taste test with Amelia? Or yeah, I asked, I, we're visiting my sister next week. Um, or visit my mom and sister and all of my and extended and family next week. And but her uh, four day old second oh, cousin. Yeah, my cousin just had a baby. He's so cute. Santiago Daniel. I just started thinking about a baby and now I don't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, we're going to be in San Diego for a week. So probably have some cool food tour vlog footage for you. And I'd like to do a taste test with my sister. If you have any recommendations as to what category we should taste test, yeah. let us know. We might just have to go buy every single vegan dessert at the Whole Foods there. Oh yeah, I want to do that. They have like vegan tiramisu, which is my favorite, favorite dessert. I haven't had it since going vegan Yeah. and I just need it. Okay, one second. I have to go get coffee that I brewed. We've got dark roast decaf coffee, which is my favorite. I think this is by the Kicking Horse brand. Wait, is the horse kicking or are you kicking a horse? Uh, it, it's it's open be. to interpretation. <laughs> Let's get this one out of the way. This one's almost empty. This is actually what we've been drinking in our coffee for the past couple weeks. And we're, <laughs> we could just not, well, we should just try we it for try reference. It. A little splooshy sploosh here. So basically I, I got this at, this is available at Sprouts and Target and probably some other places, but that's just where I've been recently. It's the Silk Oat Yeah Oat Creamer in the oatmeal cookie flavor. We were just listening to someone talk about how Oatmeal cookies are never appreciated when you're a child. Mm -hmm. And then as you get more sophisticated, you're like, oh. Plain oat cookie, <laughs> no. Oatmeal raisin, sure. Oatmeal chocolate chip, yes. Yeah. Can we make those? Tonight? I think those were my dad's favorite cookies. Can, I made those a lot. Can you make, can we make oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that are gluten free, yeah. but like our, nor like our normal cookies? Yeah. Like, like you made the paleo cookies, which are like healthy cookies. Yeah. I want like real cookies, of course. but are they naturally gluten-free? No, you also, you put flour in them. Yeah. Right? But I could just use... Let's try to make some, let's make a tiny batch of oatmeal cookies tonight. Okay. Okay. I love you so much. <laughs> listen. It doesn't taste like anything. Listen, it's not bad. No. But it's so sweet that by the time you add enough to make it as sweet as you want, there's no, there's not enough flavor. Do you know what I mean? It just tastes like sugar. It tastes sweet. It tastes like a regular, like vanilla creamer. Not even, I don't even get any like strong cinnamon or- I don't get anything. It's not bad though. But the reason why we're hating on it so much is because we bought this after we had already finished our carton of this one, which is the Silk Pumpkin Spice Almond Milk Creamer. Oh my God, this is so good. So good. Another palate cleanser. <laughs> Another one. ASMR. <laughs> this is a satisfying flavor. Uh, can we make sound. can we make a real ASMR video? I really do want to make a really like borderline creepy ASMR video. Not creepy, but you know the the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen did mm -hmm. one, and they're oh, on yeah. a black background, and they're like really close, and they're like just doing weird things. touching the rice. Like I want to yeah. do a weird one. Let's do it. I know some people will hate that, but it's my prerogative. I don't know <laughs> if I put enough actually. <laughs> I think it's just better. It's not as well, maybe it's not as sweet because you didn't put as much, but it it's nicer. It just has more of a flavor, mm -hmm. but you can still taste the coffee through it. Yeah. I will say this pumpkin spice flavor is not as pronounced as the one in this. But so if you want that extreme pumpkin spice, you'll probably want to like just add a few shakes of pumpkin spice mix. Yeah. Thumbs up. Hmm? Thumbs up. Mm. Yeah. I thought you were asking them to give us a thumbs up. And I was like, for what? <laughs> Slap like now. <laughs> what I like about this is it's very creamy. 
I've mentioned before, I'm a little skeptical of almond or like nut-based creamers in general because sometimes when you add something nut-based to hot beverages, it develops this weird toasted flavor. This doesn't happen with this one. Can you believe in this video I have not once said nut-based creamer? I hardly know her. <sighs> well, now you have, and you only get an allowance of one of those. Okay. <laughs> so I like this, I recommend it. And I, I feel like because it's silk, this is gonna be the most widely available one, I'm just guessing. So you could probably find this at most. I think I've seen this at King Supers as well, which is yeah. the Kroger owned company in Colorado, so. So you can go to Kroger, you can go to Ralph's, you could go to- Is Ralph's Kroger owned? It might be. Yes, I believe it is. Okay, let's try this one. Should we take a moment to um, tell everyone that on October 11th, our the first half of our cover album is coming out oh, on Spotify yeah. and iTunes and everywhere? Yeah, this is a project that we've been working on. Just, when did we start it? Last year? La one year ago. We've been struggling. Five songs, five covers, made completely by us. Yeah. October 11th. We're really excited about it. Do you want to tell them the pseudonym we've come up is with for ourselves? Is it a pseudonym? No, it's, it's just a band name. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not even a it's band a, name. It's an artist name. It's funny because if I like told someone that I, oh, I have music on Spotify, <laughs> mm -hmm. they'd be like, I didn't know you were in a band. And I'm like, well, I'm not really in a band. It's I a mean, group. I, it's an act name. It's an act. It's cute. Can we say it on, on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Cute threat. I wanted you to say it. You didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> October 11th. Get your pumpkin spice ready. What is that, Friday? Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> We should have covered Friday. There's still time. Oh, what I didn't. Are we drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't introduce this one. This is, wow, we're really repping the Califia Farms here today. This is so uh, funny to me. <laughs> no sugar added, better half Wait. coconut cream and almond milk. So they have the half better half, which is just a non-dairy half and half replacement. I guess that's what this is, except with pumpkin spice. So there's no added sugar. There's monk fruit in everything. Oh, there's monk fruit. Oh. Okay, okay, this is good. No, it's not. You don't like pumpkin spice. It doesn't taste like pumpkin you spice. You don't like pumpkin it spice. It tastes bitter. It just tastes, there's, it's not sweet and it's bitter. No, okay, okay. If you add a little bit of, if you want your coffee to be sweet, add a couple drops of stevia, which is what I like to do, or add some sugar or maple syrup. Maple syrup is really the way to go. I brown sugar or maple syrup. I'm gonna go jump Are off the bridge. <laughs> purge your taste buds? No, I'm just gonna grab my water. <laughs> It's the nutmeg. You don't like nutmeg. It doesn't, there's, it's not sweet. I know, because it's intentionally not sweet. But like, isn't half and half sweet? No. Well, I mean, milk has a, a certain like sweet quality to it, I think. Okay. So this is good if you don't want sweetened coffee, but mm -hmm. you could also add a sweetener to it or you could cook with this. Maybe I just have a childish palate and I can't comprehend why You'd want someone would like an it. unsweetened coffee. I don't recommend, but that's me. Yeah. It just tasted, it It just taste, It made my coffee taste bitter and that's all I tasted. I tasted bitterness. I, th that I, was it. I really think that's the seasoning. Hmm. Like, why don't you take a little sippy sip out of the carton? I feel that if you do a lot of fall baking, mm. that requires, wait, it's what? It's so good. It's way better, but you just drink it out of the carton. I, what I was saying is you could use this for cooking. Like if you're yeah. trying to make a vegan pumpkin pie that requires milk, or if you want to make like vegan pumpkin spice French toast, you could use this. Yeah, I recommend. I don't know that I'd repurchase it though, because I do like my coffee sweetened. So like, why yeah. would I go to the extra steps to add my own sweetener? But I do think it has a nice pumpkin spice flavor. <gasps> I just, that was the longest sentence. Oh, Jesus Christ. It is sweet by itself. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Monk fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's better by itself. Give me a sip. It's very creamy. And I have no problem drinking it out of the carton because there's no sugar in it. Highly recommend drink it out of the carton. Don't put it in your coffee. What's your verdict? And what I will say though, is that I find these Califia Farms products to go bad very quickly, maybe because oh. they're like more on the natural side. Mm. Like this one or this one, you could probably have in your fridge for weeks and it would be, it would be fine. But I've left these in for a little too long and then I've gone to pour it and they come out in like chunks. <laughs> okay. So Vegan yogurt. Use it up fast. <laughs> Vegan yogurt. Yeah. Homemade. We're there. I have two. Oh. I have more Califia Farms. Oh my God. Why do they have to do? It's like you didn't realize you bought all of them. I didn't. I just like kind of blacked out at Target. Oh, I do want to say also, <laughs> while I was at Target, 
There are uh, Chameleon Cold Brew has mm. two seasonal coffee beverages. They have a pumpkin spice and a ginger snap. Ooh. Oat milk cold brew concoction. I didn't buy those because we tried the pumpkin spice one and found it to be very watery. Mm -hmm. And I knew that if I bought them again just for this taste test, I'd end up throwing them away or like pawning them off on his coworkers. So I didn't buy them. Um, have you had their regular ones, their staple Chameleon flavors? Cold brew? I've had their just plain cold brew with no added. You have to try the vanilla one. Where but... are you having ca Chameleon cold brew without me? Uh, nowhere. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't had it since I lived in New York. Oh. But they have like the little bottles, the vanilla flavor, and it's so good. It's so good. I just don't usually pay for cold Coffee. brew because yeah. I'm cheap. I'm not cheap, but I am cheap. Do you know what I mean? I do, yes. <laughs> we live together. I do. I understand. <laughs> okay, I gotta finish this. Oh, right. Oh, I, I poured mine into yours. That's why. All right. All right. All right. What's next? My mom came over yesterday, so we're both doing New York accents. <laughs> All right, what the heck is this? Pumpkin spice, dairy-free almond milk creamer with real almond and coconut cream. Everything has the same exact words on them. This one also has ginger and nutmeg, so maybe you'll hate it. All right. Wow, I feel so full of liquids right now. You didn't pour me any coffee. Damn it. No, you didn't. <laughs> this smells like eggnog if I... You, almost, you literally almost spilled it on No, me. I didn't. You were like this. You like handed me that. Pour your own damn creamer. Mmm. That might be my favorite one. I'm pleasantly surprised. Nutmeg. You, you don't like nutmeg. I'm going to put extra in the oatmeal cookies tonight. Is nutmeg the bitter thing I taste? Let me go get the nutmeg. You talk to the camera. I'm getting uh, the nutmeg. I've heard that if you ingest too much nutmeg, you kind of start tripping. You don't like nutmeg. So I kind of enjoy it. We went candle shopping yesterday. We went to Target and smelled all of their seasonal soy candles. They know I got oak and whiskey. All of the ones that I enjoyed, I set aside and then I made him blind smell them. We're standing at Target on like this. Okay, get the next one. <laughs> and all Is that Ocean Breeze? <laughs> and all of the ones that I was the most enthusiastic about, you were like, no. Maybe it's because you don't like nutmeg and they were all like spicy candles, pumpkin candles. I like this one. I don't think we can be together anymore. Maybe I don't like nutmeg mixed with coffee. Cause they're both bitter. No, I like it. You do like this. Yeah. You do like it. Okay. I do. I actually really recommend this. I'm shocked. It's creamy. Why are you shocked? I don't know. I just, I, I see silk and I always need to buy the silk brand because mm -hmm. it just, it's standard. Yeah. But I'm very impressed with this. You know, okay, so Sarah most days will make coffee before I leave for work. And as the seasons change, the flavor changes. My favorite one you, you make is not, you're, you're, you think I'm gonna say chai, right? No. Oh, really? Peppermint mocha. I feel like you're just biting your uh, time okay. until yeah, peppermint true. mocha season. That's true. Okay, but every other time except for peppermint mocha season, my favorite is just coffee, creamer, plain creamer, and vanilla. Okay. I just like the vanilla latte. He's a simplest. I'm a simple man. We're gonna have like just the right amount of coffee. Maybe I just don't like coffee. <laughs> you love me? No. Should I floss for them? Kiki, do you love me? Are you ready? Nut pods. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Unsweetened. <laughs> Are you sure there's no caffeine in the coffee? Positive. I feel myself. Well, I <laughs> I just flossed. First I just stood up and flossed. First of all, you're a Leo. Second of all, we have had a lot of sugar. Third, I am a Leo! <laughs> Stop. Third, <Sorry. laughs> there's, there's like a slight amount of caffeine, even in decaffeinated coffee, I think. But look, we haven't consumed more, more coffee than we'd <laughs> usually consume. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just having fun being uh, in the video. Well, this is... Frothy. You gave yourself twice as much. <laughs> you gave yourself two, two, uh, two glorps. Have it your way. Burger King. <laughs> oh, this is gorp. 
What's a gorp? Good old raisins peanuts. I've never heard the term gorp. Really? Ever. There are a lot of terms Next that time I have never heard of before. You, like You showed up. For some reason, I never heard anyone use the, the term jabroni. And then oh, you yeah. said it, and now I hear people say yeah. jabroni all the time. You know it's from The Rock, right? No. The, the Rock used to call people jabronis in the ring when he was Why a wrestler. Why would I know that? I thought I may have told you before. Anyway, next time you're at the store, go to the trail mix section and you'll find something. You'll see ones that say gorp and it's literally like raising the peanuts. It's just plain. Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything to me. Maybe if you added a lot more. Claudia would hate this. Why? That's his stepmom. My stepmom and my dad went vegan for a month when I still lived with them a few years ago. And one of the things that bothered my stepmom more than anything was the fact that she couldn't find one damn thing to put in her coffee in the morning. It's it's honestly a challenge. Nowadays it's not. Or it at least, kinda, at least in here it's not. Listen. Maybe though, on Long Island. It kind of is. Really? Because I used to just like putting half and half. Mm -hmm. And can't. there's really nothing that's exactly like half and half. Didn't you also drink half and half? Yeah, I think I've talked about this before. I used to go to, like, I'd go to IHOP and they'd have the packets of half and half on the table, you know, in the little plastic mm. capsules, and I would just take shots of it. God, it's so good. Mm. There's nothing like that, really. That's when Sarah weighed 193. <laughs> <laughs> it was all half and half. <laughs> that never happened. I don't like this. It doesn't taste like anything. Don't, don't give it to me. So delicious oat milk creamer in the snickerdoodle flavor. Are you a snickerdoodle person? Uh, yeah. I used to always like making snickerdoodles. Did you make them in home ec? And then I would give them away. Uh, no. Actually, the only thing I ever remember making in home ec is an orange Julius smoothie. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't remember weird. learning anything in home ec. Hmm. What was your home ec teacher's name? The one you remember? If there is one you remember. Mrs. Runyon. Really? Yeah. Ours was Mrs. Mayer. Like John Mayer? Yes. Like Mayer, a a -er. Her son was actually <laughs> in my graduating class. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Was he really practical and handy around the house? I have no idea. Did he wash his whites in hot water? Probably. I hope her son is watching. <laughs> I have so many questions. Oh yeah. What do you- No doing? nutmeg! Cause it's snickerdoodle. Yeah. Do you know what a snickerdoodle is? Can you describe a snickerdoodle? Yes, story? yes. Go ahead. Okay, so it's a cake. What? It's a vanilla raspberry cake <laughs> with chocolate fondue on top. Um, and then lobster claws <laughs> decorated around the side. Snickerdoodle. Yeah, it's a sugar cookie with cinnamon in it, isn't it? So do we like this? I like it, yeah. But I don't taste any cinnamon. I just gotta say it tastes like a pretty plain creamer, but mm -hmm. it does have a very appealing texture. It does, no. Very creamy. Okay, well, what is your favorite thing? This, what is yours? I think it's a tie between this one and this one, honestly. Okay. However, I do think that this one deserves some love. Because I agree. if you're looking for a pre-mixed pumpkin spice latte beverage. Yeah, definitely drink this one out of the carton. Yeah, I don't um, know how well it would heat up though, because again, I think the Califia Farms Almond milk, when heated, develops that weird roasty flavor. Yeah. I like this straight out of the carton, even though it's a this. creamer. Well, that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'll mm. probably, maybe we can make like a pumpkin spice flan. You know what I mean? I love flan. You know what I mean? We used to go to this Mex Mexican restaurant called Viva Juan. Long live Juan. Long, long live John. <laughs> um, but we used to go there. <clears throat> we used to go there on my birthday every year. Um, of all places, you're like, Mexican I want to go to Viva Juan. Yeah, yeah. Viva Juan. I want to go to Alfredo's Pizza Cafe. <laughs> it's pizza by Alfredo. Yeah, and I would always get flan for dessert. I loved it. It's all eggs, right? A lot of eggs. I think they're, well, it really varies the recipe you're using, but I think a lot of them have evaporated or condensed milk in them. Mm. Viva Juan. Can we bring Melvin into the shot now? Yeah. I'll get the little poochie boy. Mr. Melvin! He is... The cutest about, thing. About 10 pounds heavier than when we first showed Eleven. him in a video. 11, 11. pounds. He weighs 37.7 pounds now, here, or at the last time we went to Come the on. vet. Come on, sleepyhead. He's so sleepy. Come here. You want a treat? Buddy, Melvin. you're going to be a star. Come here. Look at his little pumpkin spice bandana. Can you sit? Hey, buddy, can you sit? Sit. Sorry, I'm distracting him. Good boy. Is his face covered? Good a little boy. carrot. He's so cute. 
He's the cutest dog that's ever lived. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, leave any requests down below for taste test categories that we can film when we're in California with my family. And anything else? No. <laughs> no? October 11th, new music. New music. Cute threat. It's available like pretty much everywhere, right? Literally everywhere. everywhere. You would think to look for music, Spotify. And also places that we've never heard of. Yeah, That'd like Deezer. Deezer, <laughs> title. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> Melvin, <laughs> yo sweet puppy.